the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Page 17, Genesis 48 to 50, Entering Egypt and Exodus. The funeral of Jacob, who blessed his sons before breathing his last, was a rehearsal of Exodus, and Joseph's will became the video of Exodus to happen later. First point Jacob's funeral became the rehearsal for Exodus. When Jacob died at the age of 147, his family all came together. By this point, it had been 12 years since Joseph had ended his 14 years in power. Despite this, Joseph's contributions were so phenomenal that Jacob's funeral became a political statement. Joseph made his father's funeral into National Mourning Day by traveling to the curve of Machpelah. This was to ensure that his descendants were educated for Exodus that was to come. This trip became the rehearsal for Exodus. Second point. Jacob, before his death, places his hands on Joseph's two sons and blesses them in an ordination way. Jacob blesses Joseph's two sons, but whilst blessing Ephraim and Manasseh, he does something that was never done before. He places his hands on their heads. This became the first ever ordination. It is here that he confesses that whilst his grandfather Abraham and his father Isaac served God, he was raised by God. This confession contained his truthful shame. But Joseph was startled. He saw that his father had placed his right hand on his second son and his left hand on his first son. This, of course, reminded Joseph of their family trauma of a fuse with the first and second sons. Jacob tells Joseph not to worry, and at Jacob's blessing, Joseph's two sons lived a blessed life without jealousy. Third point, Jacob's blessing to his twelve sons becomes the twelve plus one setting for a kingdom of priests. Before his death, Jacob blesses his twelve sons. The surprising fact is that the twelve sons mentioned in Genesis chapter 49 becomes the foundational ground for a kingdom of priests seen in Numbers chapter 1. As for the descendants of Levi, they become scattered among the tribe to do God's work according to a kingdom of priests. Fourth point. After Jacob's funeral, Joseph's ten brothers once again decide to go into Egypt. Jacob, at his request, was buried in cave of Machpelah with his grandfather and father in Canaan rather than being buried in Egypt. His funeral came to an end in Canaan. It was here that Joseph's brothers made the decision of faith. They decided to return to Egypt with Joseph. At this point, they did not have to return to Egypt since the famine had stopped long ago. Nevertheless, they decided to go back. The reason was in order to obey their father's wishes of expanding Abraham's descendants in the land of Egypt. This truly cast right on how successful Jacob's education was. Fifth point. Joseph's life can be summarized in three points. The first was overcoming natural disaster. The second was his father's funeral. And the third was education, family school. 
sing through tongue, Joseph's life can be summarized in three points. The first is how he overcame natural disaster. He also managed to save his family. The second is how he put everything into his father's funeral. As the leader of entering Egypt, he was truly able to fully prepare for Exodus. The third is how he was able to succeed in implementing family school. Family school had three main purposes. The first was to teach his children about Abraham and Isaac's faith. The second was to teach them about how they were to make a nation in Egypt. The final was to ensure that his children were clear about returning and settling in the land of Canaan in the future. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.